My name is Wolfgang Fresine. I'm the uh, worldwide president of Neumann's marketing and sales activities based in Berlin, where the Neumann headquarters are based. And um, well, I'm happy to be here at Sweetwater. Neumann was founded in 1928 and we are in our 81st year now. And uh, within these more than 80 years of history, Neumann has been a milestone in audio business over time in several aspects. Uh, Neumann was building microphones over all these 81 uh, years and was always um, trying to develop audio technology any further beyond, beyond the points where it already was in the old days. Uh, for example, the 48-volt uh, phantom power was one something which was well developed together with Norwegian broadcasters and is now a standard in all studios worldwide. And now we are looking into the future and try to develop analog microphone technology into the digital domain. And this system is called Solution D. And I think this will be a new standard um, in the years to come. Solution D is a new technology. And uh, the human being is always a little bit afraid of new things because people don't know what's coming up next and how um, they should handle a new technology compared to what they are used to from the analog world. In this case, for Solution D, I think there is no reason for fear and for hesitation because it is an entire microphone system, not only a microphone and a cable and you plug it in somewhere, it is a microphone and inside the microphone, already inside the microphone, right behind the capsule, there is an A to D converter, which was, by the way, developed by Neumann and we have a patent on several elements in the electronics of this microphone and the Solution D a D01, for example, a large diaphragm microphone, contains an entire signal processing chain already built in the microphone. By the time the signal leaves the microphone, it is already a digital signal which has been converted right behind the microphone capsule. And all the signal processing happens already in the microphone in a bidirectional way together with this digital microphone interface which, in which you plug the microphone in in order to generate an AES EBU signal, for example, from the AES 42 signal coming from the microphone. Due to the fact that the signal is converted from analog to digital right behind the microphone capsule, which still remains an analog part, of course, by physical reasons, you have a loss-free signal processing chain because math mathematic signals, zeros and ones, will always remain signal, will always remain zeros and ones. And um, the, the whole process of um, mic preamplification, um, things like compressor limiter function, um, things like switching polar patterns remotely, things like setting pre-attenuation uh, uh, and, 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 and other filter functions. That all can be done with the remote control software, which is anywhere in the studio on any computer, which is in the studio anyway, and can be handled remotely. That it makes absolute sense for audio engineers, and it's so easy to understand and to handle that you don't need a big training course for that. Once people set up such a system and try, well, play a little bit around with that, it's easy to handle and it saves a lot of time. In these days, there are some manufacturers who are uh, introducing USB microphones, for example. A microphone which you just connect to your computer and you record something, which is maybe good for electronic news gathering or something like that, where sound is not a big issue, it's just speech transmission and things like that. But that's not the role of Neumann in the microphone industry. And uh, I think a USB microphone is something which is necessary and good, and it's good that it's available in the market for, in most cases, $100 or less. But that's something Norman would not do, because we are really concentrating on sound quality for professionals, and that is not our domain. And uh, I think we will remain what we are. If we see, for example, a typical Neumann microphone like the U87, which is a standard in most of the professional studios, a U87 runs 64 handmade quality tests, each individual microphone, before it is packed and shipped to an end user. The average lifetime of this microphone before we see it back in our service labs for cleaning or anything like that, the average 
is 22 years after we have sold it to a customer. We can change that and have a higher reselling rate and make more revenue with that. But I think then we lose our typical Neumann customer. And we do this and we follow, the, we follow this philosophy since more than 80 years now. So it works for us, it works for our customers. And I think we should try to be stable and continue like that. Neumann always was a leader in microphone technology. Over all these 80 years, there were many inventions and many products and new technologies which have been developed by the Neumann engineers in Germany. And now we are at the point where we change from the analog microphone world into the digital domain. And therefore, we need the right sales partners who don't fear new technologies, but who got to understand and who will understand that this is something which is a tool for the audio engineers in future. And here, being at Sweetwater, I realized over all these years when I was talking to people here in the sales team that they have a very deep understanding of these new technologies because of your intense training you ha you're having here uh, on a regular basis and because people, are, uh, people love what they do. And that is what the sales team of Sweetwater has in common with my team in Berlin. We love what we do. And if we join this together and if we believe in the success of this digital technology in the future, I think we can be successful in a common sense and in a common effort towards this market. One of the most successful partners we can think about here in the United States is Sweetwater.